We continue with a Christian date for September on our trip through the Somerset year. The 29th of the month is Michaelmas or St Michael's Day. It's not something that's heard of as much now as it would have been in medieval times. It's a date often associated with the end of harvest and a date for accounts to be settled. Some universities and schools still name the first term of the academic year after Michaelmas. And it's to a school that we head now. Downside School has started a new tradition celebrating poetry on Michaelmas. Janet Craig is a librarian at the school, and Boudicca and Anthony are Year 7 students who took part in the Michaelmas Matilda. Matilda! This year for National Poetry Day, I wanted to start a new tradition because traditions all have to start somewhere. Um, and what I looked at was the May Day madrigals that we do here, where every year the choir sing on May Day. And I thought, well, we could do something similar for Poetry Day. And I wanted to do something that involved the youngest pupils in the school, because quite often it's the older ones who um, get the limelight with things like that. So I wanted to do something with our first form, who are year seven. And I wanted to find a poem that had a link to Downside. Now, last year we did poetry karaoke and I, I performed Tarantella by Hilaire Belloc. And I found out that Hilaire Belloc's son came to Downside and his grandson was a monk here at the um, monastery and he became headmaster in the 1980s. So I found one of his poems, Matilda, who told lies and was burned to death and suggested to the first one that they might like to perform it for National Poetry Day and start a new tradition at school. I think that's a great idea. And also to have those links to the school, that's um, that's really fantastic as well. What was, uh, before we come on, we'll have a chat with a, a couple of the pupils who were involved, but before we get to them, what was the reaction like from your students when you suggested this? Well, because the poem is quite gruesome, they were really enthusiastic. <laughs> There's a surprise. There's a surprise. OK, well, let's uh, let's speak to a couple of them. We've got Anthony and we've got Boudicca with us. Now then, um, tell me a bit about what it was like, Boudicca, I'll start with you. What was it like to perform and learn this gruesome poem? Um, it was really exciting to learn a whole new poem that would stick almost like the rest of your life. And it was really exciting to work with the first form for the, one of the first times on a big project. Mm, okay, and uh, I know that you performed it together, didn't you, Anthony? So what was it like performing with everyone else? Well, it was really fun. It was stressing when we were performing it, but we had to hide our masks inside because it was wet outside and we couldn't do part of our performance. But it was uh, fun. So you had to, yes, you had to do the, the COVID protocols. You had to make sure that your, your masks were on. That's uh, <laughs> That's a very modern look, isn't it? The 2020 look to make sure you've got your masks on. So tell me the story then about uh, about Matilda. It sounds like she had a pretty horrible end, Boudicca. Yeah. So Matilda told dreadful lies. And one day she was a bit bored, so she called the fire brigade. So she thought it would be fun. And when they came, her aunt had to explain to them that they weren't needed and that it was a lie. And to punish Matilda, her aunt went to the theatre to see the second Mrs Tanqueray. And she didn't take Matilda, and Matilda was really upset. And then that night there was a real fire, and her and the house were burned. Oh my goodness, that's that's horrific. It's a bit, it reminds me a bit of The Boy Who Cried Wolf. Do you know that story? Yeah. That's what we talk about. Mm, mm, sort of similar theme there. And then the wolf does turn up. There, no one's come to help him. A bit like Matilda in the fire. Uh, so, Anthony, what's it like for you to think that you're part of this new tradition? You're the first people who have uh, have started up a new tradition at the school. Well, it does seem like history, but also very uh, good tradition, I think, because the link with it is that we should never lie in serious situations. That's what my mom tells me, that to never lie when there is a real thing, because next time somebody will come 
and you will then be heard out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, really important lessons to learn there. And also, with uh, as Miss Craig was saying earlier on, there's these links back to the school. So actually, you're you're reading this poem and performing this poem, which have got all these lovely links back to the school that you're at, at the moment. That must be quite nice for you, Anthony. Yeah, it's really it's really exciting that there is some some link of that poem in our school. Boudica, do you think that you will? remember this poem for the rest of your life you said it's the sort of thing that might stick with you yeah definitely I think that if you learn some poems that you enjoy when you're younger they will um stick with you yeah oh fantastic I think that's absolutely brilliant I'm going to ask Miss Craig another question now so uh, Janet for you having a new tradition why was it important why did you want to start something that uh, that will be repeated every year A tradition has to start somewhere and new ideas are always welcome and it's good to work with a different year group than would normally take part in in that kind of event. Um, And it was a real a way for them to feel part of the school very early on to start a tradition and become part of the tradition as soon as they arrived. They really made their mark in the school. A performance of Hilaire Belloc's poem Matilda by Year 7 students at Downside School near Shepton Mallet. 